Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what are the different ways in which we can create Python lists. Okay, in, in simple words, lists are nothing but it's a collection of items, right? So, uh, Python lists are mutable. When when I say mutable, once once you have created it, you can alter it anywhere, anytime you want. Like you can append, insert. Uh, you know, you do. You can you know manipulate with lists in whatever way you want. Uh, so that's the flexibility of it. Whenever, uh, if you look at its counterpart like tuple, it is you know once declared you cannot alter it, right? So, so that's one of the most major advantage you have over list. So when you when you have a requirement where you do not know the exact number of items, exact number of items you are gonna store in a list, uh, uh, when you when you do not know the collection of items. Uh, the number of collection of items though then you generally create lists okay so now let's see what are the different ways of creating lists in python so first is uh, like uh, let's just create an empty list and see what you know and print it first <clears throat> let's create an empty list so list one maybe i will call it as list one and for them creating an empty list i'm just printing it okay print list one so this is yeah it it printed an empty list so this is this is a very basic way of creating a list uh, so this is so this is an empty list um, and next uh, next step we'll see how to create a list from the string create a list from string let's name it <coughs> so let me name it as string one maybe i'll write some uh, string i can i i'll i'll put in python so i'm just gonna print list of string one right let's print and see yeah now if you see it created a uh, list from a string whatever i have declared similarly you can create a list from um you know tuple and um, you know uh, other other data types as well you can convert uh, a tuple into list uh, you can convert string into list so you can manipulate with you can convert it from other data type as well okay so this is another way of creating the list and the next is let, let's create list from an integer list of integer all right so nothing it's nothing but list uh, let's name it as list two for better understanding. List two equal to. Uh, let me call a list uh, one comma two comma three. Right. I'm just declaring a list, and if we print it, list two. <coughs> yeah, this is list uh, list two. All right. So this is another way of creating. A list so i'm i have created a list of integers if you see i have i have declared my variables one two one three inside list two right so this is one way another way is let's uh there's a list of strings so this is nothing but um no having different uh having many strings in in your lists for example list 3 equal to uh, let's name some, let's declare a string of python um, what else uh, let's declare another variable called program yeah now let's print and see what happens print list 3 now yeah here it is so now your uh, list called python program is printed okay so this is another way of creating a list uh, from a string and another uh, type is you can you know uh, create it from uh, you know, uh, you know, one of the great advantages of list is uh, you know it, it, it can have multiple data types inside like you can have a you know integer and you can have a string uh, you know you can have any type of uh, data type inside a list so that's the one of the greater advantages you have so let's see how we have mul how we can create multiple data types list of multiple data types so 
list four problem list four is equal to okay let's uh, declare a integer and then a string maybe i will call it as python and then i will have integer again so now let's print and see what happens print list four so let me run and see yeah if you see it created a list so you can have any what whatever data type you want inside your list so that's one of the greater advantage you have in lists and next type is uh, nested list okay so you can have a uh, list inside list so let's see how we can create it um so you, you can also you gen we can also call it as a multi-dimensional list so i'll create a list called list 5 now i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a list but inside it i'm gonna have a nested list so i am having integers one and two which is of which is a list uh, so i'm i'm so this is an example of nested list now if i print list 5 Yeah, yeah it is so you so this is how you can use uh, nested list so when you have a requirement where you want to call in another list you know um, so in that situation you can use you know, the nested list concept okay and what next type is like uh, you can uh, you know you can create list by adding a tuple as well so another thing is adding tuple to tuple in list okay so tuple is nothing but it's another data type uh, specific to python uh, so it, it is something similar to list but it, uh, the it is non-mutable it's fixed so uh, you cannot change the elements in a tuple once you once you have declared it okay let's see how you can add a tuple uh, inside a list so i will call it as list 6 equal to um, okay generally tuples are declared within normal parentheses so one comma two uh, note the difference uh, difference between list and tuple lists are declared within you know square brackets um, uh, barrels tuple is uh, declared within a normal parentheses okay, so i have three comma four now let me print list print list six okay so this is another way of creating lists and now let's see um, another way of creating lists it's nothing but creating a list using a range creating a list using a range uh, so when um, so whenever you have a you know, uh, whenever you want to create a list within a range of elements like say uh, 1 to 100 or you know, 1 to 50 something like that you can create a list using the range function as well so i'm gonna create using so i'm gonna declare list 7 equal to uh, range comma 1 comma 10 comma so i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm trying to create a list from range 1 to 10 um with the with, with, with its uh, differentiation or delta as 1 okay so i'm gonna print this one thing to note here is uh, <coughs> i've made a mistake here i'll i'll just run and show you and tell you the difference of creating list using range now let me run now if you see it's printing the range value only not not the actual values which we are expecting like one comma two comma three it's just printing whatever is inside the list so uh, uh no python doesn't understand whenever you, you know declare this range function inside a inside square bracket that is inside a list so in order to decouple it what you need to do is you have to add something called a star here so now if you run it now all the values from one to one up to ten is printed here okay so this is another way of creating a list which is nothing but creating list using range of elements which is using a range function 
finally i have something called list comprehension list comprehension this is one of an elegant way of creating a list okay so whenever you have a requirement where you want to you know uh, filter uh, you know um, a list a, a list of elements from the existing list for example if you want to create a new list from an existing list in those kind of situation you can use uh, list comprehensions so uh, you know, uh, it also provides you a you know, simpler syntax uh, you know, to, uh, to uh, to you know, write an to write a function as well okay so <clears throat> in, in pro programming concept this list comprehension is used and as a best practice to uh, 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 to improve performance issue and all so whenever you have uh, whenever the elements in your list is quite huge and you want to iterate over list of elements then this list comprehension comes in very handy so so uh, let me tell you how we can create list using list comprehension so i have list a i'm, I'm going to create a new list called list a so now what i'm trying to do is i i know in the list seven i have elements in the range of one to ten so that is nothing but one to uh, nine is printed already over here so now i want to uh, now i have a condition where i have to only take partial elements from the list for example i have to print it i have to take only uh, elements up from one to five okay so uh, or else if i want to take elements lesser than 5 so now what i can do is <coughs> so this is the uh, this is a syntax of list comprehension so list 8 equal to um, so i'm going to declare a variable so you have to declare a variable and then you have to uh, add, add it through the actual loop so so i'm going to declare a for loop for x in uh, list 7 so i'm going to filter out uh, the values less than 5 in list 7 i'm gonna uh, and then finally the condition so if x is less than 5 okay so in this now if i print list 8 <coughs> print list 8 now i'm gonna run it yeah now if you see it has printed values only up you know lesser than 5 so this is one of the elegant way of uh, creating lists uh, so this concept is called list comprehension okay so now uh, you can go ahead and you know play with your lists you can you know do whatever you want there are a uh, you know, lot of operations in list like uh, you have um, you can you know you can access the elements using indexing you can play with list using slicing operation and you can you know there are a lot of inbuilt methods in list like you can append insert remove clear and a pop um, no, okay so there are a lot of uh, um, uh, inbuilt methods inside list so now you can use this different way of list and you can play with those methods okay so that's all what i have as part of this video friends so if you have if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you